Okay, today we're doing Module 5 Polynomials, ASSE 2, Level 2, Reteach. Factor each polynomial. Always remember, the golden rule is to always look for a GCF. Doesn't always look for it, but I always look for that on every problem. So I look for a GCF out of all four terms. I don't see one, but I do see a GCF on the first two, because four terms means factor by grouping. I'm going to take out a 2, and I'm going to take x to the second, and that's going to leave me with 2 divided by 2, and 3 minus 2 is just going to leave me with an x. Bring down the plus, 6 divided by 2 is going to leave me with 3, and the x to the seconds cancel out. The next two, I see that I could take out a 5, so I'm going to put a plus 5, and I'm going to get um, 5, I'm just going to get an x, 15 divided by 5 is a 3. If I did it correctly, these two match. So then how do I get my answer? I take from my first parenthesis, I take the 2x to the second plus 5, and then I only take one of the x plus 3. Taking a look at the next one. I look for a GCF out of all of them. There isn't one, but there is something out of the first two, and I could take out a 3r to the second. Remember, I usually, I always take the smaller um, exponent. And then I'm going to take 21 divided by 3 is 7r plus, and then 3 minus 2 is just an r. 15 divided by 3 is 5. The r's to the second cancel out. What can I take out of both of them? I can take out a negative 7. So that's going to leave me 49 divided by 7 is 7, and then the r stays. That's going to turn into a plus. 35 divided by 7 um, is 5. Again, if these matches, they're good. So I get 3r to the second minus 7, and then 7r plus 5. Taking a look at the next one. I look for a GCF all the way across. There isn't any. So for the first two, I notice that I can take out a 6 and an x. So 42 divided by 6 is 7. The x's cancel out. I get left with a, a y, a w. Then I bring down the minus. The 6x cancel out. I get it left with just an f. On the last two, I can only take out a y. So I get a plus y. And then I get a 7w minus f. If I did it correctly, these matches. My first parenthesis is going to be 6x plus y, and then 7w minus f. Always remember you get your first parenthesis from there. Now, technically, it doesn't really matter which one is first or which one is second. Taking a look at this one, is there a greatest common factor all the way across? Yes, there is. I notice that they, I can take out a 7, and I can also take out an x out of everyone. So that's going to be 63 divided by 7 is going to get me a 9. 3 minus 1 is x to the third, plus 168 divided by 7 is 24. 3 minus 1 is x to the second. Then I have a minus sign, 168 divided by 7 is 24. 2 minus 1 is x minus 148 divided by 7 is 64, and the x's cancel out. I still see factoring by grouping, so that means i got to look for the first two. I'm going to bring down the 7x because I need to make sure I hold on to it, and then I'm going to take a look at the first two. What can I take out of the first two? I can take out a 3, and then I notice x to the second. I usually take the smaller exponent between the two. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And the x to the seconds cancel out. What can I take out of the last two? The last two, I can take out a minus 8. 24 divided by 8 is going to get me a positive 3 because it's a negative and a negative makes a positive. I'm going to get a 3x. A negative and a negative make a positive. 64 divided by 8 is 8. And then I'm going to close my parenthesis. Now you notice I'm bringing down the 7x. You notice that this is going to go in my first parenthesis. And then my last parenthesis. And then I am done. Taking a look at the next one. Three terms I'm going to use. In this case, I'm going to be using the box method that we learned today because we have a is 1. So there's only a 1, but I usually don't write that 1. 
So I know I do a and an a. So I need to know what two numbers multiply get you negative 63 that adds up to um, a negative 2. Well, when I do it, I notice it's a minus 9 and a plus 7. Because negative 9 times 7 is 63. And negative 9 minus, plus 7 is going to get me a negative 2. So look it. So we do a minus 9 and then a plus 7. Now if you foil it back out, you're going to see that it comes here. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. First terms is a squared. Outside terms is 7a. Inside terms is minus 9a. And last terms is 63. If I combine these, I'm going to get a negative 2. So that's what we're always doing. We want to be able to go forwards and backwards. So this one, I see that it's a three term, so it's going to be the box method. What two numbers multiply get you negative 21 that adds up to a 7? That's easy, a plus 7 and a minus 3. So my answer would be V plus 7 and V minus 3. Now keep in mind, if you notice, that I always put the V's first or the A's first. Now it doesn't matter. If I wanted to, I could write it this way. So either one of these answers work, as long as it's what's inside the parentheses is the same. Taking a look at this, always look for the greatest common factor. I always do that. That's like my star thing. I notice that I can take out a 2 out of every 1, and then I can get k a 2x. Oh, I forgot. I didn't look far enough. 2, 2k, sorry. I can take out a 2k out of all of them. And I'm going to get k to the second plus um, 5k plus 6. Then what am I going to do? I'm going to, I can see that I can use the box. I have a k and a k. And then I got to think of what two numbers multiply get you 6 that adds up to 5. Well, the factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Well, obviously the 2 and the 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. So my answer would be 2k, and then it would be k plus 2k plus 3. Taking a look at the next one. Again, I'm going to look to see if there's a greatest common factor. There is. I noticed that I can take out a 4. I'm going to do this. I can take out a 4b. And then after that, I'm going to get an, an a squared plus 3 a b minus 18 b to the second now i'm going to do my box i can do i have an a and an a and i like to put a b and a b here what two numbers multiply get you 18 that adds up to a, a positive three well that would be a positive six and a minus three six times three is 18 six a positive six minus three is a positive three so my answer would be 4b, and then it would be a minus 3b, and a plus 6b. Taking a look at the next one. Again, if I can take something out of all of them. In this case, I'm going to take out a 6. So I'm going to take out a 6. And when I take out a 6, I'm going to get left with x to the 6. And then 6 divided by, 36 divided by 6 is 6, x to the third, y to the third, 54 divided by 6 is 9, y to the six. Okay, what can I take here? So on this one's a little bit more complicated, but we can do it. I'm going to make my box right here, and I'm going to have x to the third, x to the third. We want to cut that in half. Then I'm going to do y to the third, y to the third, and sometimes I use this as my guide of how to do my variables. And then what two numbers multiply get you a uh, positive 9 to get you to a negative uh, 6? I would say a negative 3 and a negative 3. So my answer would be 6 parentheses x to the third minus 3y to the third parentheses x to the third minus 3y to the third. Taking a look at the next one. There is no G GCF on the next one. So, because I don't see any number in front of A, so I can just use the box method. And I'm going to do an A and an A. 
And then I'm going to do a B and a B. That's how I like to make sure I don't forget anything. And what two numbers want to get you? 15 adds up to a negative 8. Well, a negative 5 times a negative 3 is a positive 15. But you add them, you get a positive, a minus 8. So my answer is A minus 5B and A minus 3B. Taking a look at the next one. Again, I can't take anything out, so I have a K and a K. And two numbers that multiply get you 35, that adds up to a negative 12 is a minus 7 and a minus 5. So K minus 7 and K minus 5. Taking a look at the next one. Can I take something out of all of them? I can. I can take out a 3 and an x to the second. And that's going to leave me x to the second minus 9x plus 8. Because I'm taking 2, 27 divided by 3 is 9, 24 divided by 3 is 8. I'm going to use the box, x and x. What two number will multiply get you negative um, and get you 8, that it gets you to a negative 9. Well, that's a minus 8 and a minus 1. Negative 8 times negative 1 is going to get me a positive 8, but you add them together, you're going to get a, a negative 9. So here would be my answer. And finally, I can take out a 3 on this one, and then I'm going to get an x squared plus 8x plus 12. Then I'm going to do my box. I'm going to have a k and a k. What two numbers get you? And multiply get you 12 it adds up to an 8 that would be 6 and 2 and you notice that I always like to have my signs next to it so I know exactly what signs to put into my problem and this one can't take anything out so it's an x and an x the only two numbers I can think of is a positive 5 and a minus 4 so I get an x plus 5 and an x minus 4 as my final answer this one I can take out a 3 and then I'm going to get b to the second minus 8b plus 15 and then if I do my box I have a box here I have a v and a v I know 5 times 3 is 15 but they can add up to an 8 so I'm going to have 3 b minus 3 and b minus 5. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye.